Hey YouTube, this is uh, Monsoon3779 here. Uh, I haven't made a video in a long time. Uh, wrestling season, uh, practice every day. So it's Christmas break, and I have some spare time, so we're going to do the review. Uh, rev well overdue review of the uh, KJW M700 gas sniper rifle, takedown version. Uh, it's modeled after the Remington M700 or the M24. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, it's a flat black, uh, very solid gun. Whole back portion is uh, full ABS or high density plastic. Um, since it is a takedown piece, it is two pieces. Uh, the front half is hollow, but it's very sturdy. It's not that cheap hollow type of feel but it's very sturdy uh, very heavy gun a lot longer than the L96 those of you who own the L96 sniper rifle whether it be from Well or uh, TSD or Warrior AMP it's a lot longer than that probably the same weight it's this well balanced gun um, most of the weights in the back the front is uh, well balanced as well uh, takedown version. Uh, I believe they did this for transportation reasons. I'm not 100% sure, but that would just make the most sense. There's a little lever right here, and if you pull this down, as you can see, it's sticking out right here. That will release the lock, and then you can then swing it to the left and pull it out. As you can see, it's in two pieces now. The uh, lower half is where the uh, business goes down, the bolt, um, all this, the bolt, the magazine, the, you know, the scope, safety, is all right there. The uh, barrel is about two feet, maybe two and a half feet long. Uh, Hop-up adjustment is right here. There's a little Allen wrench uh, grub screw twist to the right, hop up, twist to the left, less hop up. Uh, the hop is really touchy. If you go too far, it'll completely sail in the air. If you go too low, it won't work at all. Uh, upgrades, barrel-wise for this, I believe. I've heard people talk about, you know, you can put, it, you can put a PSG-1 type bore in here, uh, with Tokyo Marui, and if you can do that, you can use the hop rubber because uh, if it is an AEG type barrel in here, unlike, uh, you know, some of the other ones. There's sliders um, so you can upgrade it with that as far as magazines and all that go you could probably put a high tension spring for the trigger and the hammer nothing much you can do to the uh, other side of the gun to improve anything really put it back together make sure the uh, lock is out put it in facing to the left turn it the way it uh, works is there's like grooves or teeth on each side of the gun and once you put them together they interlock and it won't go anywhere then you this is just for good measure you click it up and it stays there um talk about the bolt the bolt is very light there's no uh, resistance at all there's no spring uh, main spring to cock back so it's free if you just move this up and at the angle I have it now, it'll just fall. No bolt pull at all. The good thing about this is you don't have to go all the way back with it. This You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can just go about that far just to reload the BB. It only has to go back so far to uh, activate the trigger mech. Push forward to load the BB and then you're good to go. This is a good thing. Because if you're shooting, if you have a ghillie suit on, you don't want to make too much. This is kind of obvious, you know, sometimes. So one of these isn't too bad, you know, just forward, back, forward, back. As less movement as possible, which is a good thing, which is a pro of this gun. Um, safety right here only works if the gun is cocked. Just pull it back. It's like most safeties on, you know, some of those uh, M24 type guns. Doesn't work. Push forward. Good to go. Uh, 
scope on here. I have a 3x9x40 scope, and it's a basic. I have on almost every single sniper rifle I have, just a basic scope. Nothing too fancy. I don't want to be throwing on a lot of money scope on here. Uh, one inch raises. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, nine power, three to nine power. Does the job. Um, magazine release is inside the trigger ring here. There's a little magazine release button right there. Bolt has to be pulled back. Push the button and the mag will fall out. The magazine is a 10 round double stack magazine. Very small. 10 rounds is not a lot, uh, but if you get gas the uh, magazine up all the way, you can get 30 shots. It's got a very big reservoir. This is the BBs or where the this is where the BBs is held. This whole part is a reservoir. It's very thick too, so it's a lot of gas. The uh, gas release button is right here, which the hammer hits. If also known as impact plates, if those go bad, then your magazine will have trouble, you know, releasing gas. You won't have very good shots. So you have to replace these magazines sometimes. Um, gas fill valves right here and uh, where the gas comes out is right there like you see you get 10 rounds very tedious to reload because you have to pull this all the way down double stack them takes time they're thirty dollars a piece if more for these magazines also to remind you this is a Tanaka clone so those magazines work as well but they're a lot more expensive so don't see the point to put the mag back in bolt has to be back like uh, before Slip it in, good to go. So there's another thing you could do with reloading. If you're out of rounds, you can take BBs and one at a time, place them inside the chamber, fire, put a BB in the chamber, fire. That's just a, uh, if you're in an oh shit situation and you have to shoot, and you have to shoot now, you don't have time to reload. But if it gets that dirty, then you're gonna have to pull out a pistol or something. So, um, that's the bad thing about it, low capacity. Cons, um, low capacity, uh, deviations of fire, FPS can drop dramatically. High range as well, it's a gas operated gun, so you're gonna have those deviations. And uh, it's something you can't control, that's also one of the things that are bad about this gun. The, con uh, the pros are, it's very solid, very powerful. About 530 or so FPS with a uh, .2. Of course, you want to use heavier BBs for accuracy. It's got a lot of power. Um, bolt pull is very light. It's another pro. Uh, it's a very nice, beautiful looking rifle. Um, very long barrel. Very good range. FPS is very high, but remember the deviation problem. So you're going to have some pros and cons, which every gun does. So it's your personal choice as a sniper what you want to do. Um, my opinion, uh, bolt actions are more reliable, but there's nothing wrong with a gas sniper rifle. Um, I like this one a lot. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment a message. Uh, I'll gladly answer. Um, this is my review of the KJW M700 gas sniper rifle. Uh, wrestling is almost uh, not even halfway done, so I'll try to get as many videos as I can posted. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you soon.